Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I wanted to talk about five surprising dates guys love going on. And I know that a lot of you guys, if you're going on dates, sometimes I know for me, I would get super nervous anytime I would try to pick somewhere to go. And I thought that like, instead of just you guys having to worry about somewhere to go and like wondering if the guy is gonna really like it, I came up with a couple of things that I know guys love doing and some things that will just make it a little bit easier when you go to actually pick somewhere and go on a date. Anytime I would pick somewhere to like go on a date, I would always get super nervous and like I would always want that other person to just have like the best time But I know that the five that I came up with today are things that guys absolutely love doing so you don't have to worry about it Also before I start today's video today's video is sponsored by drop if you guys have never heard of it before It is an awesome app that I use all the time So basically all you do and this app actually helps me get free Starbucks all the time So all you do is you download the app you put in like your debit card or your visa and the app runs in the background And it collects points anytime Time you go to places like Starbucks or Amazon or Trader Joe's and then over time because I go to Starbucks and I go to Amazon and I'm buying things it collects points so that I can redeem those points in order to get free stuff like Starbucks but right now if you go down in the description and you click the link and you use the code right there you guys are gonna get ten dollars to Starbucks and that'll be all through July so all you have to do is download the app put in one of your cards and then you will get ten dollars to Starbucks so yeah I love using it and I just wanted to tell you guys about it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and here is the first like surprising dating place guys love going to. All right, the first thing that I came up with, and I think that this is an amazing place that both people always love going to and always have so much fun, and that's going and playing mini golf. I feel like when you're going on a date with somebody and you go and play mini golf, because there's that like little form of like competition, but at the same time, you guys are able to like still have fun and be out doing something. It can be like a, just a little bit less stressful because you guys are doing something fun. As a guy, Anytime I go and play mini golf, I have so much fun and I think that other guys will agree with me. So, so that's the first one that I came up with. I think that guys love going and playing mini golf and it's a great way to get to know each other. So yeah. All right, the second one that I came up with, and I think that this one actually has somewhat of like a little bit of a strategy behind it if you really like the person that you're going on the date with, and that's ice skating. I feel like, I know that it's not something that you can do all the time, but if it is Christmas or it's like in the winter or you guys are going somewhere really cold, the reason that I think that guys love going ice skating is because you cannot set yourself up better in one of those situations to like hold somebody's hand or like help them do something by like holding them up. It's just a great way to like get past that barrier of like feeling like you guys are not able to physically touch each other and it's always better if somebody like doesn't really know how to skate because then you guys will always have like some kind of a story out of it if it is ice skating or you're going out and doing something like you're going to a batting cage where you're helping somebody swing a bat and do something that's kind of like almost like physical like that it's one of those things that I think is an awesome experience for both of you guys and something that I know guys absolutely love doing the third thing that actually I think is a lot of fun to do, and I I even do this like when I'm not even on a date, I just do this for fun. And I think that going out and like going to little coffee shops that you've never been to before, if you know that there's a really cool one that you guys have never been to before, and you wanna go and check out something different, and like it's always gonna be something that you remember, and you'll be able to just like try something new together and be doing something that's different. And if you do end up going to a Starbucks, you can get that app and then you can collect points. But I think like overall, like if you guys do both love coffee, I don't see how like going to a coffee shop would be a bad idea. So that is the third one. The fourth thing that I came up with, and I think that this one was really fun, especially if you're somebody that likes to go outdoors and like be doing something that's physical and you just like like stuff like that. I think a lot of people like going on hikes and especially if a guy knows that he's spending a day with a girl that he really likes and you guys are going on a hike somewhere that's like really cool and you're outside and it's nice. You guys are just doing something cool like that or like even having a picnic somewhere. So next time you're thinking about like a place to go, <laughs> think about like a place that you could go hiking or like a really cool place that you could have a picnic. And I think that guys would absolutely love that. All right, the last one that I came up with, I think that this one might kind of be like surprising to you guys because I've been doing something recently that I absolutely love. Now, I think that going like rock climbing and all of that stuff is pretty cool and it's kind of like similar to hiking, but recently I've been going and doing this thing called bouldering. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it before, but like it's basically like rock climbing, except you don't have ropes on and it's like super strategic. And anytime I'm there, I always like see couples that are doing it for the first time and I always think like, oh, that'd be so cool if like, 
they were on a first date and like this is what they were doing. It's like one of those things that just popped into my head and I thought would be a good idea. So those are the five different ones that I came up with. Some dates that I think you'll be able to really get to know somebody and ones that are really fun. If you've done any of these before, let me know in the comments. If you guys can think of any other ones, also leave those down below. If any of you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure that you go over there and do that because if you send me a DM, I always answer my DMs with questions that you guys send me. So hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I love you guys so much. And as always, I will see you next Saturday in next week's video. Bye. <laughs>